Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to class today, Reflections. Welcome to class today. Welcome to class today. We're in the money. Dang, what did it do? Reflections. We are in here. Welcome to class on this Sunday. How y'all feeling? I see y'all in here. We at 33. It's a beautiful day. Reflections. This is my spell book, y'all. Some powerful things in here. You hear me? But yeah, as we get more into crystals, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to activate them. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be talking about these. Can't talk about my personal ones. I can't talk about my personal spells I write in here, but we're going to be talking about these. More classes, my bad, y'all. My fault. More classes are coming up on crystals. That was my fault. All right. So, we in class. To, if you want to do me a favor, um, mm -hmm. wait, wait, you can take these tags off. Y'all go ahead, get up in here. Y'all go ahead, come on up in here. Come on up in here. Spread the word. Live. Tell them get their ass in class. You know motherfuckers out there for kicking it. Somebody's kicking it. Yeah, just be careful with them. The tag so you don't mess up with them. Yeah. Somebody's kicking it. I know a lot of y'all been hitting me up. Like I say, I've been adding. Y'all see we've been adding stuff to the store. All right. Listen. These going on the store. Just showing y'all some things. Y'all like y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all been hearing me about these crystal necklaces. Well, real crystals, not none of that fake. I'm gonna put these on the store. These, this is a moon rock. These are moon rocks. See? Moon rock. These are gonna be on the store. Yeah, so for all my students at university that's at that level where they trying to mess with crystals, you know, everybody in here is on different levels, you know. 
We not all on the same. We not all on the same level at all, y'all. So, for those of you who are just in the university and you just getting in here and you don't know too much about crystals yet, don't worry about getting necklaces and uh, you don't need to worry about even messing with crystals yet. Just you still learning the basics, so that, and that's cool. It's the university, like I say, everybody on different levels. So I'm just letting those know real quick before we um before we get in class. Hold on. Before we get in class. Yeah, so I'm going to put these moon rock ones on the website too. Real quick. And that's another thing too. Like, I went on like Amazon. I went to these different sites, y'all. And I'm looking at what they're doing with their crystals. Right? And I was noticing how cheap they be like. I noticed that y'all can't be doing it out there, man. Crystals is like diamonds, man. Because a diamond is a crystal. I don't know if you knew that. A diamond is a crystal. All right? Oh, look at this beautiful rose quartz reflections. All seven chakras, amethyst, lapis lazuli, peridot, carnelian. You know what I'm saying? These going on the site. Going on the site, y'all. Whatever y'all ask me for, I always supply. I hope y'all know that. Notice that about me. Y'all already seen these on the website. Majority of the stuff that's on that website right now is in the store already sold out. A lot of y'all been buying these. Oregon Energy Wands, all seven. Y'all been buying these to order these off the site. Those who have placed y'all orders, y'all orders going out tomorrow. If you have ordered from the site, those who have purchased one-on-one -on -one consultations, I'm doing all one-on-one -on -one consultations this week. Also, we're going to pull post the class schedule this week, y'all. But yeah, y'all going to hit. Like, and everything been going fast because I've been getting like, like I say, man, you know, I'm going to say I want to sit down with some with, with some righteous guys and goddesses. And they are like mountaineers. You know what I'm saying? They like, my crystals, I get married straight out the mountains. And the individuals I deal with, they, they deal with these portals. All right. So I was I was able to um wear these, where, where a lot of these different crystals come from. Which, when you go in the store and buy crystals, if they real crystals, all of your crystals come out of the mountains, out of the soil, out of the earth, out of the earth. Because I told you, we had, we had, listen, y'all see this tower? I had them put the copper in there. Now, I see, now what, now what was crazy was I see people, like, with these. I've seen these. But when I went and looked, right, they be fake. A lot of times, y'all, they be having glass around these. Like, this is actual clear coarse casing. This is a crystal in itself, just the casing. The pyramid shape, a lot of individuals don't even know why a pyramid shape is more powerful than a globe shape. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of individuals don't know, don't know why. But to generate the most force field of energy, real quick, it's going to always take a vortex. A vortex is the point where two lines meet. So, y'all see the tip of this pyramid? That point where two lines meet is a vortex, right? That would be a vortex. Spears. All right. These also vortex. Spears. Vortex. So those of you who are in the university, I'm going to be doing like next week, we're going to be going ham on the crystals. All right. So I'm going to be putting a lot of my crystals out. Showing y'all like how I, like how I really do it, you know what I'm saying? Like like how we do it here, you know. Um, we moving into that frequency, so. And like I say, a lot of the people that that be selling y'all crystals, I noticed that it be glass, or it be lab crystal. All right, so lab crystal mean like all right. For example, a rare piece like this. This is rainbow fluorite, real rainbow fluorite. But if you don't know the difference. You will walk in any crystal shop and they can say the same piece and tell you it's, it's rainbow fluorite and you won't even know the difference. You get what I'm saying? So you'll be like, oh, okay, well, I got me rainbow fluorite. Or I got me Super 7 crystals, right? Whole time, though. Certain elements. 
You see? Certain elements. People will paint they crystals. They will give you, say, some glass. See what I'm saying? Here you go. You walk in the crystal store, I keep telling y'all, if you see them let people touch their crystals or just ask them a question, test them, y'all, before you speak, before you buy a crystal. Like y'all hear me about crystals, as far as people hear me about crystals. Y'all been me for months, so now y'all finally get what y'all want. I'm talking about crystals a lot more, and I'm showing y'all a lot of different crystals. I got y'all. But listen, you'll walk in the store, they'll sell you a piece of glass. You'll think it's a crystal. You won't even know the difference. It'll look just like this. See the step tearing me? These are dragon eggs, septarium and dragon eggs, right? So, they'll sell you this. And if you don't know the difference and what to look for, this is real. You'll think it's real though. The whole time it's glass or it's lab crystal. Lab crystals mean they, they made these crystals in a the lab. They don't come out the ground. They don't come out the ground. So that's just a quick drop on crystals today in the class about crystals. This is like the intermission people still coming in. We're at 85 now. Welcome in class, y'all, for the real history of locks today. Um, if y'all wonder why I pushed class back the last few days, it was strictly because a lot of people been placing orders on the website. It's a lot of more people joining. Uh, we have hired, I've been adding a staff, a whole staff. It's going to be like a staff that's going to be helping run the whole website like a professionals. So, yeah, it's a lot going on. Also, YouTube blocked me for a week, so I was, you know, I had to step around that. And sometimes, y'all, I generally just be needing time for myself. Y'all don't really be like that. You know? And I think I'm going to make a video. Like, for those of y'all who are hitting me about merchandise, all that's coming, right? But I need y'all to, to, to really focus on breaking from this system. So, in the new energy we moving forward to, crystals is going to be real powerful. These are citrines. These will be on the website too. See them? Huge, huge stones. The real, the real citrines. Real deals. These going to really work for you. These are going to really help you practice your prosperity magic. You need certain crystals. See, I just gave y'all a gem. If you want to practice prosperity, a lot of y'all trying to figure out how to get away from y'all jobs so y'all can stack your bread up so that you can't focus more on yourself. You want to get you some, you want to get you some citrine. It's a tumble citrine. It's a big one. This mine. It's my personal. See? Tumble rock. rock. But these are finna go on the site. Citrines, they're going on the site. $20 a crystal. None of that four dollar crystal stuff like when you go in stores, you go in there talking about four dollars because they're selling you plastic, they're selling you glass, or they're selling you lab crystals that, that is not gonna charge you up at all. These are going on the site. All the difference, I'm just showing y'all a little bit. These finna go on the site. I'm going on the site. Oh, yeah. If you do happen to get one of these real quick, y'all. One of these, y'all. Y'all been hitting me up trying to get like, right? So now I got something for y'all. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It's only three. It's only three. Right, so these are going on the website. Like I say, it's only two of these, y'all. I only got two of these. I'm letting y'all know now. Real deal, all seven chakras. Mm -hmm. See them? See, when you put them close in the camera, you can tell. That's why y'all who out there crystal shopping, man, y'all got, I got them. I'm going to put y'all on game, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what this class for. It's going to get deep. A lot of y'all don't even know the different crystals and y'all just spending y'all money on stuff and y'all getting glass out there and plastic and lab crystals. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you go online like Amazon, you on Amazon, they'll, they'll show you maybe something like this and it'll be $16.99. You should already know it's fake. How you gonna have all these crystals in there like that? Real gemstones, real minerals and crystals that come out and it's that. No, it's like diamonds, y'all. See, crystals is becoming a trend a lot of people. So they don't know. It's new. So you got a lot of people that's running away on y'all out there. They don't, they can't even tell you nothing. I keep telling y'all. Don't even get no crystals from nobody. They can't tell you nothing about them. They can't tell you nothing about them. They can't tell you nothing about the planet. They don't know where these really come from. They talking about they just come out the ground. How did they get in the ground? How did they get there? How did they get in the ground? How did, how did they get in the ground? Where were they first? Where were they at? What are they designed to do? You feel what I'm saying? This is why you want the real deal. You don't want no. You hear me? 
But yeah, it's only two of these, y'all. So, like I said, the, the like the guys that I deal with, like we don't even be on all that crystal seller stuff. Like, like even that's what I'm saying. Like how they make it, how they sell and change. Like we been wearing chains, we have been taking crystals and making jewelry out of it. So all they doing now is making it a trend and selling it. And in actuality, a lot of these um um hierarchy human beings who are oppressors are capitalizing off this shit. These are the people who own all these big ass crystals. So don't none of us own this shit down here. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful out there, y'all. But for those of y'all, like I say, somebody asked me, like, because somebody wanted something, and they was like, I didn't even know it was already so. Oh, this. That's what it was. Uh, one of the goddesses on the site already ordered this, and we only had one. Like I say, you know, I'm not stocked up in here. I'm not no crystal store. So, right. you know what I'm saying? We not no crystal <laughs> store. I don't really sell crystals. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm going to get certain powerful crystals that I know is needed. And I'll put them up there. If you see them in the store, you want them, go ahead, grab it if you want it. Like, I'm not marketing none of that. Like I say, the Super 7 crystals already sold out. I didn't even tell them. I just put them on the store. And then I just put these on the store. These are these um, seven chakra energy wands with the copper in them. The real ones, not the fake ones, encased in the um, clear quartz. All right? It's so a specific way you use these too. But, yeah, like, I put them on the site, and it's already only two left, and I didn't even put the description of the product in yet because I'm, we're moving around. So I just had to put it up on the site. But this is really for those of you who've been hitting me about crystals. You know what I'm saying? You know you ain't reached out about no crystals. Don't worry about it. But we still be at the beginning of class, and instead of playing music like I normally do, it's you people in the university that order, and we got the store added. This is new. So I'm talking to them real quick. All right? So shout out to the goddess who bought this Pyrex pyramid right here, though. She already ordered it. It's gone, y'all. So ain't no need. In, and I don't know when it's going to be another one. Anything I get, y'all, that I put on the store, I don't know if I'm going to have it again. Because once again, I'm not a crystal seller. All right? <laughs> I'm doing this for the university. I'm, I'm going to put y'all in tune with stuff y'all need. But pyrite, another merchant stone. Real pyrite. Very, real heavy. When she get it, she know who ordered She ordered this. When she get it, she is, you know, real pyrite. All right, these uh, with these dragon eggs. Dragon eggs, powerful. Especially for those of you who like have problems with speaking. Some of these dragon eggs, but everything I'm showing y'all already gone. Like this is already gone. This stuff is already sold already. It's just sitting right here on my table. Now this is new. This ain't hit the store yet. Let me show y'all these. Water containers, but it got crystals in there and interchangeable. They're interchangeable reflection. Let me show y'all. You can change your crystals out. So, and you know, being able to drink, it's, 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 it's you drink, you fill it up with your drink, but you can change your crystals out. You see them? That's powerful. You know what I'm saying? That's very powerful. See? You can change them out. Very, very powerful. Yep. So these going on the store too. I'm just showing my people this who was talking about the crystals. For the people in class talking about these crystals. And for those of you who don't know nothing about crystals, crystals, listen man, we moving in new energy, right? The money system breaking down. I told y'all that already, right? I told y'all that already. Crystal's gonna be the the new age money. Thank me later, man. But yeah, these going on the site. Rose quartz, fluorite. These going on the site, man. Peridot. Water bottles. Man, this is like eight different crystals in here. Moonstone, amethyst. That's it. But yeah, you fill it up with water or juice or whatever you're drinking, and it just keep that energy in your water and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, though. Oh. Clear quartz. Amethyst. So yeah, I'm just showing y'all that for the people that was talking about the crystals. I ain't put them all going on the site after this after this class today. You know what I'm saying?
Peridot, very powerful crystal. Peridot, for those of you who don't know, Peridot, very powerful crystals. All right. Yeah, though. And for those of y'all, like I say, these citrine stones going on the site. No, this is not going on the site. This is mine. I don't really, <laughs> like I say, I don't sell crystals. So I can't really, um, not really a crystal seller like that. I'm get, getting a few things for y'all. Y'all want it, y'all want it. Cool, go ahead, whatever. But like I say, I can't promise nothing going to stay in because I'm not an actual seller. For those of you who do um purchase, like say you do purchase one of these crystal, like this carnelian right here. This help you with your sacral energy, but it's, it's good for a lot of things. But let's just say, um, you know, you end up ordering one of these. Anything you order gonna come with a pouch, so it's gonna be in a nice pouch and boxed up nice, and you know, make sure it get to you nice and safe. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's enough for that. I see we at 185 right now. I thought that was 35. That's 185 of you. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. Some of y'all got in here like, hold on, what the hell we? We do. We talk about crystals today. I thought it's the history of locks. No, I mean, but we moving toward crystals. You know what I'm saying? And oh yeah, hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm not putting this on the site. This one got citrine in it. I told y'all citrine merchant stone. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all start messing with citrine energy. You, you gonna you gonna really be like, oh, it's see every crystal certain energy certain ways you do it. You know what I'm saying, y'all? But yeah, though, that ain't going on there. Oh yeah, and those, for those of you, if you do, if you do get one of these crystal water containers, glass, this is glass, this is heavy, this is heavy. So, you know, it's gone, let me show y'all real quick. See, you're gonna get this, it's gonna come with a little pouch for you to slide your water in. So you ain't got no excuse about why you can't keep. There you go. There you go. See what I'm saying? There you go. Just like that. It's that, it's that, you know, it's that simple. Open it up. See? Fill it up with whatever you want to drink. You know, ain't nobody touch your bottle because you got crystals in here. Also, you can interchange these crystals. So let's just say you want to move all them out and put, you can switch different crystals. You can switch your crystals out. You know what I'm saying? And yes, you will get this box with the brand on there. Probably a stick that say UCI on it or some of these are the box. So yeah, packaging on point and everything. You good. You good, man. We're going to take care of you, man. Yes. We're going to take care of you, man. We're going to take care of you. All right. So, today's lesson we in here. Let me start by saying peace to the gods and gods of the planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy always creates elevation, reflection. All right. Let me send peace to the elders, 60 and over. We, we, we appreciate your energy. Always do. I always will. Let me send peace to my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. How you doing, Reflection? I'm sending you the deepest of insight out there. We over 100 on a Sunday. We supposed to have this class on Thursday. I pushed it back to Friday, then Saturday, then eventually Sunday. All right, well. We're knocking class out today. This is from last week. This is Thursday's lesson. The class lesson for this week will be posted on the board, on the memo. And we'll put a blog up. They'll be on there by, to, by, if not by midnight tonight, you'll wake up to it. You know what I'm saying? So you'll know all the classes Monday through Thursday coming up this week. Also this week, I won't be live on YouTube at all. Um, I'm going to, we're going to work Instagram and Facebook for us when we go public because I'm banned on YouTube for a week because you know, they don't want me talking about coronavirus. And I guess now they're going to throw my videos. And I got a lot of videos about coronavirus. So they gave me, they deleted my second video mentioning coronavirus. And gave me a, my first strike. All right. So basically the way that YouTube hat does it, if I receive one more strike, that'll be two strikes. And then I'll be banned for two weeks as opposed to one week like they gave me the first time. Um, and then after that, they say if I get a third strike, that's when they delete the entire channel. So 
Right now, me and the goddess, and I got more people on the team I'm hiring. We backing up all my YouTube videos, and we gonna put them all on this site. And we gonna keep we gonna keep hitting YouTube with shit once we come from unblocked. We ain't gonna stop. We ain't letting up. We ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get in there, nigga. It's just that we prepare. We got we got defense now. So if y'all, we gonna keep we gonna keep throwing. But now we just know we know the duck a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So that way, you know what I'm saying? You know that way. If they do try to, in the event they do try to delete the channel, we are already prepared. Five P's, proper preparation prevents poor performance. If you know, you know. So, at the end of the day, reflection, let's talk about it. Let me roll up first, man. Today's a beautiful, I love talking about this type of stuff. Like, um, I used to talk to this, talk about this subject a lot with my cousins, because they had locks. This was way before I even grew my locks. I always knew the strength of the, of the Easter, though. So, we're going to get into it today, though. And like I say, feel free to screen record. Mm -hmm. Let me see. And give me the own scale real quick. Too. We can find the other remote could we? To turn it up, cause I show. Try to see if Layla can find, cause I I'm, I want to show them in class. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it too low. So Layla should know where it's at. Ain't no way. Or or or, or you need to have Layla call. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't no way. She can hear the remote. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the... Thank you for the... Yeah, a lot of y'all don't know. I can say this because we private. I can show y'all this because we private. But this is my actual book, y'all. Full of, full of spells. Full of them. They all work, too. Everyone ever wrote work. And I use them. Like, sometimes I go back to them. That's why you need a book. You want you to book. So when you write your spells down and you get your your, your protection spells, your prosperity spells, you might be working your spells to, to work on certain things within yourself. You know, each spell is different. You know, you might have somebody in your family who's sick. You want to help heal them. You can. You write your spell to help heal them. You know, so it's different stuff. You know, but you want to get y'all a book or something so you can write down like, don't write down a dream. You know what I'm saying? Write down your goals. No, you are, you, the, you the magician. You an ancient being. You a god. You a ninth being. You know what I'm saying? So you could, whatever you write down, that's called an affirmation. That's a, that's the, that's a spell. It's a spell because you wrote it down. Remember, it was just a thought, a theoretically, and then you wrote it down. And you, when you wrote it down, what you do? You had to spell out your words. So when you wrote it down, you spelt it. So that go to spell. Now, if that spell, if those words rhyme, it makes your spell that much stronger. All right, if you surround yourself with crystals and then recite your spell or candles. Let me show you. Show you an example. Give y'all a little example real quick. Because before we go deeper to locks, you know, we're going to talk about magic anyway. Because we're going to talk about these locks and, and the true magic of them. So we're going to talk about, but listen, let me show y'all something. Notice, right? I sit there, have my book. I write down what I want to happen. I bring in the element of wind, which is through me. Fire through the candles. Earth, get some grass. You see what I'm saying? Any form of land. Water, have a glass of water right there. Now, let's just say I sit up there and I, and I get to speaking out. I write something down. And I speak it three or six to nine times while the fire is burning with the element of water right there. Earth and air, I got all four elements, plus I, I represent spirit. So that's what this symbol means. That's the true meaning of the five-point star. I've been told y'all that they metaphysics, they had this shit right in your face your whole life. They got you thinking it's a sign for the devil. See what I'm saying? Lucifer, when it's not. Anciently, what you think this means? Why do you think when people do magic, they sit there and they draw their star and they draw, they cast a circle around themselves? Because the circle locks you in like a portal. The star is the elements of this material realm. Let's look at them. Left star, earth, air, fire, water, the top star, spirit. Learn your true history. See what I'm saying? You're ancient being. You're supposed to be using these symbols when you do stuff. When you work your magic. Because guess what? They use it. Because you're this is how you use all the elements. Just by drawing this symbol, you you call all the elements in. Earth. 
air, water, fire, spirit. All right. Each candle, you whatever, 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 whatever magical spell that you're manifesting, you want the candle, the candle to match that vibration. You wanna, you wanna manifest money. You need your green candles. You're trying to work on your root chakra. You're trying to need some form of aggressive energy. You want to use red candles or fire, right? You might want to generate more chi. You might want to be. You might be working on conquering, controlling, commanding the elements. When you're using doing that spell, you want to use yellow candles for your solar plexus. You get what I'm saying? You might have a somebody might be sick in your family. You write a spell to heal them. You get what I'm saying? So now you like, but you need insight. Or just say you need insight on anything. Go get you a blue candle. Write your spell down, sit around, meditate with that. Yeah, it get deep, y'all. get real, real deep. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna be diving. We gonna be diving into it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to lose y'all, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to lose y'all reflection. I ain't trying to lose you. I ain't trying to abuse you. We gonna get deeper, though. We'll get deeper. Why don't we? We'll get deeper. But now let me roll up this gas, cause class is in motion. Yeah, we ain't here today, y'all. We like that's why I say like when we go private, yeah, we finna be in here getting real functified, y'all. Real, real functified. It's so, it's so intricate. Magic is so. Listen, y'all. Magic, which is your natural, our natural abilities, is so many levels to it. It's, it's like when you find out about magic and all the elements and stuff like this, you'd be like, why the fuck do they even have? What the fuck are they teaching us in school? All them years of science, nigga, they supposed to be teaching you magic, metaphysics. You know what I'm saying? Like sacred geometry. It's a reason why anciently we use spears, spears, spears in pyramid vortexes, sacred geometry. All right. You line up enough of these, you're going to increase, like, get yeah, organ energy, organ energy, which you already have within you. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, y'all, I'm going to don't even trip, man. I don't even trip. You in good hands. Y'all in good hands. You hear me reflection? This the wake up gang over here. Wake up gang. You hear me? For those of you who struggling out there with, with, with enlightening yourselves too, get you some blue. Increase your vibration, color magic. Understand every color has a frequency to it now. Don't just get caught up in those chakras because it's way more than seven. You got 33, you can attain 114 total. That's a whole nother lecture though. Ooh, 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 this purple punch still smells so good. I just finished my first ounce, y'all. It took me about a week on that. I'm on my second ounce. You know what I'm saying? When I cop, I go cop two to four ounces at a time because I just, I smoke like that. I smoke about an ounce a week, y'all, so... This is my second ounce I'm on. Fresh ounce. Purple punch. I just got through. I just got through smoking them Zuki, Zookies. That was Zookies in that other. Would you woo woo woo? Yeah. Yeah. Would you woo woo woo? Would you woo woo woo? Yeah. Man, my daughter didn't hit the remote, the remote y'all. That's what we trying to play the music and can't even play it. My daughter, the five year old, she hit the remote. Nobody knows what it's at. We can't even find a TV remote. Like, God, man, she didn't hear that motherfucker good. And we've been looking for it all AM. Because she left. She ain't here right now. We've been looking for it all AM. We cannot find the TV remote. Like, man. Wait till her little her little self get back home. Cause she always got the TV remote anyway. Like, man, you not know you ain't having the TV remote on purpose, so can't nobody watch it but you. The heck? Little self. The kids be like that, they hire us on your way. Nobody watching TV if they ain't watching it. You still ain't trying to dig. She took that motherfucker with her. I don't care what you say. She packed that motherfucker with her. <laughs> she packed that motherfucker with her, babe. Nobody's watching TV. I'm taking it with me. 
And you know, we got a, our five-year-old really like, she really like 43, y'all. She a real old soul around here. Like, I know she took with her like a mama would. You know what I'm saying? Littlest thing in the house. You can't tell her she ain't everybody mama, though. She's everybody mama, y'all, in the house. I know her little self took the remote. Little grown self. Little grown self. And now we down here trying to find it. We can't even play no tunes. Grinding up this. We got a good one today, y'all. We talking about the real history of locks. Because I don't... You got motherfuckers out there with locks in... And you got locks in your head. You talking about dreads? You should definitely be ashamed. Don't trip. But that grind to be working out some... That shit look like it ain't that much weed. And you put that shit in the grinder, boy, that shit come to life. You hear me, boy? Nigga feel like he in the kitchen cooking up. Hear me? Nigga feel like he in the kitchen cooking up. You hear me? Y'all hear me out there reflection when you put that shit in the grinder, boy, that shit come back. You hear me? Nigga turn a two and nigga turn a four into a nine fucking with that grinder. You hear me? <laughs> Like, it's some straight crack or something, you hear me? Turn a four into a nine, fucking with the grinder. Nigga, you put a... Nigga, you, you scaled that shit, that shit said point eight. By the time you get the grinder, boy, you go like you got two grams. Nigga, you did this, man? Nigga, you did two grams, nigga. You hear me? You can't tell me that ain't two grams right there. It look like it, though, don't it? Look just like it's two grams. If I flip this camera down, all this damn weed right here, it ain't shit but a little one gram. But it's just that grinder. That fine grinder, you hear me? Oh, real, that shit smell. Hey, baby, this purple punch smells so good. Oh, oh. Are you smelling from over there? Mm -mm, no, I oh, we talking about when you open it, smell it. Oh, okay, yeah, hell yeah, that shit. I thought you smelled it from over there. I'm like, oh, yeah, she kicking on a, she's kicking on a different type of level today. Right. <laughs> on the real. Man, this shit grinded this weed up so perfect. I ain't never seen. Hey, shout out to the youth too. I don't know if I shout a child out, man. 21 under this in here. We ain't started class yet. We, you know, you know, class don't, the doors don't close y'all until it's rolled, man. Y'all should know that by now. And then me, man, I really love y'all, so that's why I don't come in here and make it like no class. I ain't finna just come in and, yeah, so, you know, duh, 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 duh. I don't do that. You know, I'm gonna kick it. We gonna talk. We gonna chop it. We gonna, we gonna talk about life. We gonna talk about personal shit a little bit. We gonna mix all. We gonna mix it all in and still get to the bottom of the lesson. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we a family, y'all. You know, I be I be loving these moments. I definitely don't even want to get off live with y'all. It don't, and it don't even matter what platform I'm on, whether we private on the website or public. Y'all know I will stay on that month. I will keep, you feel me? Like, man, listen, I guarantee you I can stay on live longer than y'all be on here. Nigga, I promise motherfucker been and went to sleep, came back two days later, I would still be on live. I literally be having to, I, it's a fight, y'all, not to just... You know what I'm saying? They hit the live, hit in on live. Like, I be having so much to talk about, y'all. It's just, I'll never run out of, I'll never run out of download for y'all, man. Because it's just so much, man. They Then they still be doing shit every day. They still be doing shit. We were just outside meditating. We seen 15 goddamn motherfucking planes flying above um, spring. Was it 15? But it was definitely about six of them right next to each other. I'm like, oh, yeah, they getting desperate. The veil breaking down, y'all. The, they got to keep spraying that. Because, see, the spray that they put in the air is bigger than just oxygen and more gelatin. That shit help coat the um, coat the CGI technology. So, basically, the vapors that they spraying, it helps to make the, the clouds look more real. Really than they really are. You know what I'm saying? If they don't spray that vapor, it'll be even easier for you to see through it. So, they that's why every day, they always, if you look outside, they getting up. They spring. They can show. They can show that, you know.
making sure they get every little thing. They don't want you to wake up. But the great awakening is happening, y'all. Ain't nothing they can do to stop it. Ain't it? Love that smell, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't nothing like it. You hear me? When I give me a, a give me a batch of gas that smell fruity and it tastes like it smell. Woo! I just damn near, I just damn near be almost ready to not fuck these hierarchy human beings and reptilian shapeshifters up when I get this good gas. Keyword, damn near. Don't get too happy out there. Oh. So, I got something to show y'all today. We trying to find a remote to turn the volume up. So, on our TV, I don't think we got a way to turn the volume up, do we? No. No, we ain't got no way to turn the volume up, y'all. So, I might didn't have to pull it up on the damn phone. I should have went live from my phone and pulled it up right here on the iPad. I'm on the iPad right now talking to y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, y'all. So today we're talking about the real history of locks. <laughs> There it go. The doors are closing. We at 150. 35 of y'all left. We catch y'all ass outside of class. We beating y'all ass. We catch y'all ass out of class. We beat y'all ass. <laughs> nah, I just fuck with you. Damn, ten more people came in here. Niggas must have got the memo. He know we ain't. He, he seen us get up and leave out the class, y'all. He somebody told him. cause you know the ten, the, the thirty of people that had left out when I was, well now it's it's like okay well now it's fifteen. It's only fifteen people that ain't in here that left out now because it's like y'all came right back in as soon as I said something. Them the ones who snuck out the back to go get hot. They didn't know I had a head count on their ass out there, y'all. They somebody didn't text them like, you better get your back in class. The teacher just said he seen the number go from 185 to 150. Niggas would have took a smoke break. All right, y'all, so I don't know how many of us uh, know truly about the ether. And I know we've heard many things about the ether. But today, I'm going to talk to you about your ether and ether and hair and its connection to this planet, how powerful it is to this planet, to your avatar, which is your body. Also, I'm going to show you a few legendary individuals and I'm going to show you why they don't talk about locks. I'm going to also explain to you today why they call them dreadlocks. Um, some of you know this, some of you might not know, but we're going, to, we're going to get a lot deeper, though. We're going to get a lot deeper, all right, than what you think you might know on the surface about your, about your ether.
Fuck I do that. Y'all know what? Y'all like when you ever light your yo gas and then you you rolling too fast so it starts sidetracking me i'm a real smoker like i can't enjoy it if that unless it burns perfectly y'all the back <clears throat> okay, y'all. So, welcome to class today with Fletch. Man. Let's talk about this ether. Our whole life, they have taught you to. Let me move back, y'all, so y'all can see. So y'all can see more, more of the guy. There we go. There we go, everybody. Ah. See more of the God. Okay. So, basically, um, not too far, y'all. It's too far. I gotta be able to see a little more, y'all. All right. Here we go. All right. So, basically, nappy headed Negroes is what you was called. Yes, you was. Your whole life, you was told you was a nappy headed, a nappy headed Negro. Now, if you wanted to, now if you wanted the guys, and you happen to be under the name of the Latino species, then you might not never heard that. But to the guys that were that by, that are called uh, that have been uh, we named Africans and African Americans, because some of our guys remember, remember they they broke our species up, y'all. So they they renamed our entire species. Like we just guys and guys. We are and to be exact, I say guys and guys for shorts. We for sure we are Anunnaki. Gods and goddesses, or Anunnaki. That's what we are. Now, because they, 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 they enslaved our species, all right, as a whole, after they enslaved our species, they, they renamed us. So they called some of us Lat, uh, Latinos. They renamed some of us African American, some of us African, some of us Jamaican, some of us, you know, they gave us a lot of different names, right? That to help get us what we are today, which is why we so fucking confused and divided because all these names and titles. So you know, all right. So that section of our gods who they decided to call African Americans and Africans have always been deemed nappy-headed Negroes. They were always made to. Uh, they were always taught to. Uh, H their hair. I don't like to use that H word. H A T E. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say it. I've already just spelt it. All right, but uh, I don't really like to use the the energy of the word. But they were taught to you know H themselves. All right. But one of the main things that were attacked was the hair, and you should ask why. They attacked your skin and they attacked the hair. That was the main things they attacked to help tear down. Um. A lot of quote unquote African American gods. Okay, so what what they would do is, you gotta remember in the beginning, we fought strong. Like I said, when 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 they when they first came to our planet, they attacked our energy tower. Listen, we had you see this mini tower. We had huge with the copper in it. You see that copper spiral? What do you think is? We had listen, we had huge towers just like this. But guess what? Listen. They was made out of all different type of crystals. You hear me? All different types. All these crystals. Where do you think this comes from? Crystals. All right, these are crystals, right? They all heavy, too. Real crystals are heavy, no matter how small they are, and they always cold. See what I'm saying? And when you squeeze them, you're going to give them an electrical charge just by squeezing your crystal because you are electricity. All right? So we had these huge towers, man. 
Imagine something like this. Just like this. But way bigger. Look inside it. That's yellow jasper, lapis lazuli. It's septarium on top, encased in clear quartz, right? With copper spiraling on both sides, right? So just holding this outside gonna supercharge, right? This is small though. This is nothing, man. <coughs> Listen. I'm not saying you are not nothing, because I know that you are something. Because you got crystals, got life. So I don't want to be talking around the crystals in it. You know, and I, ain't, I don't mean that literally. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling y'all about is size. Babe, we got we got more palms left? Yeah. Okay. I need to roll up again. Okay. But we talk about size, y'all. These. Imagine these. But... A hundred times taller than the Sears Tower building in Chicago. You know, a, a hundred times bigger than the biggest skyscraper you could think of. Like, they were huge, man. Because you were, we were huge. So, when these, when our oppressors, draconian reptilians and these Pleiadians, invaded our planet pre-1492. Because 1492 is the year that they officially came onto our planet through the portals in the Caucasus Mountains. This year, 1492, in their American history book, this year is known as the year that Columbus discovered America. If we Google what year Columbus discovered America right now, they're going to tell you 1492. Why 1492? Because that's their year that they actually came out those portals. They had already been on our planet a little longer than that. We were so huge. The, four, the whole planet was a huge forest. And they were this, they were six feet. They were small, like, they, like this size. They made us their size. I always say that they made us their size. They was this size already. We were 50 feet, 100 feet. Everything was bigger. So they were able to hide on our planet. We didn't even know it was on our planet at first. Eventually, through, you know, our ability to talk with the wind, the earth, the ants and the elements and the different insects and animals we had created, they the ones who told us that these oppressors was here on our planet. These Pleiadians and these human beings who were hiding in the mountains, in the Caucasus. Alright, so once we did let them, let them onto our planet, the first thing they attacked when they attacked us was these energy towers we had. Why? Because this was the source of our communication. This was the very first time they divided us during the great invasion of 1492. And I've never made a video about that invasion, but I will be making one. So don't even worry about it. Yeah, man. During this great invasion of 1492, y'all hear me? <coughs> So, it was a strategic attack because we are electricity. And back then, like I said, we stood 50 feet, 100 feet tall, these avatars here. Uh, all muscular. All the goddesses were like, that's what a god physique come from. That saying, they call it, they don't even call it a god physique. They call it the Greek god physique because they want to give, you know, they want to take everything from us. But no. We the original cut up muscular muscle man bodybuilder. That whole look come from us. You know what I'm saying? We we get like that just naturally. We do a couple push ups. We be we get to start chiseling up. That's us because they're our DEA. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And the guys that don't got abs, this is our natural. Like, and I ain't even been hitting my abs in like a year. I ain't hit my abs in like a year. You see what I'm saying? That just you feel me? And that's because I worked them out in jail. So, you know, I ain't worked my stomach out in a year. It's still like I'm hitting my stomach every day, but I'm not. I'm just, you feel me? Now, the guys who don't get abs, for example, they do. But they probably eat a different diet than me. You see what I'm saying? Let's just say I barely eat. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say they change their diet. They body naturally going to ab up is what I'm saying. They ain't going to have to take no nothing. And any guy that work out know that. He ain't got to do no sit-ups. He could, you could, like, you could look at your shit and you start just doing a little bit in the right 
It's over with, right? I'm saying all this to say, to, to give you a, a, a depiction of how our bodies look. We were beautiful hues. You see this rainbow floor right piece? We were these colors, purples, purples and blues, beautiful purples and blues. Oh, let me show you, show you this one. Look, beautiful purples and blues. We was this color. Beautiful purples and blues. That's why Rainbow Fluorite has that color personally in it because one of the goddesses personally created this. Almost every element, though. Every, every crystal, every element, every animal, every insect comes from us. I've been telling y'all this forever if you've been watching. It's just now I'm going to start showing y'all more of this stuff. Definitely privately, you know what I'm saying? Because we private right now. So I'm showing y'all my collection, a little bit of our crystal collection and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I showed you a few crystals for y'all that wanted some. Because some, some, of, some of this stuff sitting right here is my collection. And some of the stuff is just, you know, I'm going to throw on the website for y'all who want crystals and stuff. But we were, we were these different beautiful colors. Purples, blues, reds, and greens. Because, like I always told y'all, we were breathing in hydrogen back then, not oxygen. Um, like I said, we had these huge towers. Just like this, in the same shape. In the same shape, same clear, how you clear, just like that, man. Imagine this, but you know what I'm saying? Big as a skyscraper, but a hundred times bigger than that. That's how your planet looked. Um, we, I keep wanting to emphasize that we are electrical beings. For you to understand the locks, this all, everything I'm saying goes together. Just pay attention. We are electrical beings. Dr. Sebi came down here in the flesh and warned you that you were electrical beings before he left. He was trying to awaken you that you are electrical beings. Okay, so... Yoda on Star Wars, he represents the pigmentation of how we would look. But he represents the Moors in Star Wars. I always tell y'all to go listen to Yoda. I say, go listen to Yoda. Go listen to, go watch these movies, man. They put the truth right in the movies. And they show it to you. They give you the back. Listen, man, they give you a visual, too. You know, but but Yoda is a representation of the pigments of us, just like they showed you. Uh, I forgot her name in Guardian of the Galaxy, Zoe Saldana character, but she was green. But she was still beautiful, right? That's how we were. We was beautiful. That's why it shouldn't be hard for you to ima imagine us a different complexion. Blue, green, and red. Some of us was yellow. Some of us was... Uh, a composite of different colors. Just like this. Just like this, 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 this seven chakra crystal necklace right here. You see how the different color. Some of us was just like that. We were all one God species. And we had humongous trees. And I've been telling y'all that. I've been, like, I've been telling y'all, hey, all your mountaintops are actually tree stumps. Those were trees. They cut our trees down. You got to understand what they did to our planet. And why am I talking about these giant trees right now? Why am I talking about these giant crystal towers? And these towers were made out of pure crystals, though. All of the different same ones we see now. We had made out of a pure, huge, that, but imagine that was beautiful. It full, of, but, but what were they connected to? The, the Earth. So what were they? What were they generating? Number plasma energy and electricity and organ energy. Our crystal towers did that for us because we 
feed off electricity. You don't hear me. We never ate meat. We never ate chicken, beef. We never ate fish. I'm taking you back to the, the root. Forget the Bible. That's not the root. I'm telling you the root of your planet, this planet, how we were, are anciently. We didn't even eat fish, no meat, no flesh. Because to eat flesh means you're eating something that has died. And you are now transferring that energy into you and you are an electrical output. You are a crystal. You are the biggest, most powerful, most intelligent crystal. You, you made crystals in your image. Remember I told y'all, we created the crystals. The, they, they're minerals. They're part of the mineral kingdom. I told y'all, a lot of y'all, when your head hurt, you might take a vitamin, which is full of what? Minerals. And you don't even recognize the life force inside of that vitamin. All you seen was the vitamin. Meanwhile, that vitamin has spirit and soul like you. He or she is energy and it's a part of the mineral kingdom. So it has a different body than you on this plane. Just like in this plane, you're not this body neither. So, but while you're here, you, you animate this body. That mineral the same way, it got a spirit and a soul like you, but it's animating the vitamin. You don't hear me though. That mineral just like you, it's just animating the vitamin. Its body is a vitamin case and your body has two arms. Look, your body has a head, two legs, and two arms. Their body is just a casing, but that's that's their body. It's still spirit and soul in there. That's their part of the mineral kingdom. And that's why when you take that, that mineral, you feel more alive. It helps blood flow. It helps different things within you. It's about real minerals. Because the mineral kingdom is a part of, you got the mineral kingdom, the animal kingdom, the, the, the elemental beings. So much life around you. So, I'm saying all that to say because you are electrical. So your planet back then, anciently, before they landed, nobody was hunting anything. That's a lie. How they got you believe it all in Africa. Niggas was hunting before they got there. No. Lies. Remember I told you. Niggas love lies. Niggas want more lies. See what I'm saying? Electrical being you are. That's what nine ether means. Pure electricity. Energy and intent. Manifested out of pure dark matter energy. And when dark matter energy manifests in the physical, it manifests as carbon. That's why you used to be blue. Your skin was blue, red, green, yellow, or rainbow complexion. Different, many, many, many different shades was on you. Because you are dark matter energy. And when dark matter energy manifests in the, in the physical, it manifests as carbon. And when you put oxygen in the atmosphere, as opposed to hydrogen, which is more liquid and water-based, oxygen, it's more of a poison. It's based in a smog-like, fog-like. It's like a negative form of gas. Because it's not a part of the gas family because it's not oxygen. is isn't natural to the planet. It's technology. You don't hear me? Oxygen is technology. Pumped into your atmosphere to poison you. And now many generations later, you breathe the shit in and think you need it. It's technology. But you are an electrical being. 
full of photon energy, organ energy. And what you would do is, you see how I got this pyramid? You wanted to, you needed to charge up anciently. So you, we made all these giant towers, we made all these giant pyramid, all these giant pyramid towers. And then we, we was like, oh, okay, well, we filled them with more electricity. That's where crystals come from. So we crystallized our thoughts. That's why they are crystals. So basically every crystal ain't none but intent and thought that came from your ancestors and was used as part of structures to bigger objects like these towers. And we crystallize our intent and our thought and our electrical energy, our chi, our life force, and we put it everywhere in these towers, which would help us generate more electricity. We manifested balls of crystals in all different types, and we shaped them in globes, and we shaped them in pyramid shapes, and we structured them and placed them as blocks and bricks in these pyramids, and we placed them everywhere to channel open more portals and to gain more electricity, not only as a food source, but all, because we literally eat electricity, right? We, we receive food the same way plants do through photosynthesis. We are electrical beings. We are, we are plants. That's why they call it a planet. Plant-based. Planet, because it's plant-based. I told you, we share the same chloroplast DEA that them plants do. That's why you are everything. That's, what, that's, the, that's the earth in you. That's what gives you the power to command the earth. You can, you can make an earthquake, you can make it separate, you can make rock formations out the ground, all with your core force if you connect it with self on that level. I'm talking metaphysics right now. I'm telling you the beginning so that you can understand your ether. Electrical beings. Gods. Real gods. They fake gods. They got fake gods. You are real god walking in the flesh. You're a god having a physical experience. You are royalty, respected all throughout the cosmos, everywhere but this planet, because it has now been taken over by your arch cosmic nemesis, the Draconian Reptilian Alliance, which they forged with these Pleiadians and some of your hierarchy rich human beings but originally you're, you're electrical being so you had all these crystal towers the trees are full of what electricity why do you think we needed them they were full of electricity we only surrounded ourselves with electricity because electricity does what? Feeds off electricity. So we vibrated. You vibrated so high that there isn't even really words now, today, to, that can describe it. You can't even imagine niggas flying. You can't even imagine your ancestors flying. If you right now, you probably don't feel it's possible for you to fly. So I know you probably ain't gonna be able to imagine the shit that was going on on your planet when you had all this electricity to feed your electricity. You didn't have nothing hindering your electricity. You don't hear me. Why do you think it's called light coat lockdown? They are locking down your electricity by interfering with your signals, signals and all of your sockets think of this as a socket this is stronger than a socket our organ energy towers were stronger than these sockets in the wall this is a replica of of of, of what we already had a socket ain't got shit on the electrical currents we were generating on this planet You better go watch Electro versus Spider. Well, the one off the show with Spider Man with Jamie Foxx to get some type of understanding for the shit we was doing. And that don't show you really. But I'm telling you how. We had crystal towers made out of pure crystals. 
your crystallized intent, but in this shape with vortexes on top of them. The top with two points meet, that's a vortex. It's a vortex used for channeling more energy. And spears as well. Channel in and more energy, electricity. Prisms, this is the prism shape. Rectangles, they hinder electricity. These are prism shapes. Rectangles. Rectangles. Squares and rectangles, these are prison shapes. Why do you think your house is shaped like a square? Squares, they got you living in boxes. Squares and rectangles. See what I'm saying? To hinder you. Meanwhile, you're supposed to live under pyramid-like structure domes. Because your electricity could flow. They know that. So they put you in prison or prism shapes. Which is where the term, which is where the word prison comes from. It comes from prism. So, rectangles. You can't generate no electricity with rectangle shapes. Those are prisms. You need spears. In vortexes, pyramids. This is the vortex right here. The point where two lines meet to form any electrical output. This is why in Egypt, there's big ass pyramids with what? Vortexes. That's the whole point of a pyramid is, is it's a vortex. 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 How much energy you gonna generate with a vortex? With a pyramid? That's why we have them. And they will never tell you that. They try to act like they don't know why they're there. They know why the fuck they're there and what they're there to do. Energy. Generate electricity and energy. We literally eat the shit. We are electricity. At your base form, you break down to atoms. Electrons, neutrons, uh, atoms, um, atoms, um, neutrons, and electrons. Protons. Neutrinos, light photons. That's all electricity. This is why do you think people try to talk about an alkaline diet? That's an electrical diet. They try to eat foods that generate high electro electrical charges. The only foods that generate high electrical charges. The only food that's going to generate high electrical charges. Even fish don't do that because it's a meat. And I eat fish. I eat fish sandwiches. But I'm still eating dead flesh. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it's clean. It's a cleaner meat than eating some beef or some pork, but it's still dead flesh. The only food right now that's going to give you any type of electrical charge is fruit. That's what that, that's what that is you feeling. When I bite into this grape, that little film. That's electricity. I feel the difference than if I go bite into a tuna sandwich right now. And y'all know I love eating tuna. It's still healthy. It's healthy, but it's still a meat. So it's going to slow it's slowing me down. I would be a lot quicker, a lot of everything without it. And that's just the honest to God truth. That's just being stating facts to y'all. I'm here to tell y'all facts. I'm not here to lie to you. And they put GMOs in the fruit. They put GMOs in the food. Then the all the fruit is cloned. Fact. And grapes didn't even look like this. That's a whole nother video though. They was a whole different size. Your grapes on your planet back originally before they landed was about this size. Facts. And they was round just like this. Grapes. Grapes. And it was like a big grape and you Grapes were the size of grapefruits. Actually, way bigger than that. Like big-ass pumpkins. You would. Mm-hmm. Bigger than water. Way bigger than watermelons is now. Your real grapes. But that's a whole nother lecture, though. All right? You got to understand. That's why I say when I say they killed your planet, 
even your fruit not shaped the same no more down here. You know, nothing is like it used to be because the planet has been taken from you. But you got to understand first and foremost that you are electricity. That's why I'm mentioning how the design of things and why they were there. All right. Anytime you get around, like right now, just having these points right here, I'm going to generate more electricity than you could. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm. I'm, I'm surrounded by these points. But guess what? I'm still limited sitting in this prison. That's why you're supposed to go outside and get in nature. That's why I don't like putting I don't like putting cloth on. Because cloth is it limits your electricity. Cloth, glass, plastic, and rubber. And that's why they surround you with it. I've always taught y'all that and told y'all that. They put rubber on the bottom of your gym shoes. Rubber hurts electricity because they know you're full of electricity. They don't want you walking out there without no socks on and no shoes on. They don't want us doing that because then our electricity will connect with the earth, with the soil. They don't want that. And you will, that's too much. They put glass everywhere around you. That's why I told y'all, be careful buying crystals because they'll sell your ass some glass, especially these big brands like Amazon. They don't want y'all ass to have no real crystals. Nigga, like, what, well, nigga? I told you that. You know what I'm saying? So, everything around you is around you to stop your electricity. Because you are electrical. This, and I'm, that's why I'm showing you that. That's why they make, that's the true reason why you got to wear clothes. You didn't wear clothes before. They got plastic, glass all around you, and rubber. All around your house. This shit made out of plastic. Glass, you drink out of glass jars every day, or plastic cups, rubber, cloth, and you can Google this. You can Google this, all right? You can Google this. But, this same electricity Nothing generates more electricity than your ether. And specifically, your, when you lock it or braid it. When you braid and now it's just like this. When you don't have no ether on your head, you're not gonna generate generate no electricity. And you can't receive no cosmic downloads without no hair on your head. People that's bald head, they can't get no, they completely shut off from the cosmos. Hear me clearly. They completely shut off from the cosmos and a huge part of themselves. The more hair you get on your head, the closer you are to yourself. The more hair you have on your head, the closer you are to yourself. All right? The closer you are to the cosmos. All right? Now, I'm, I'm going to explain why, you know. Now. The next phase up is actually having braids. Having hair on your head is one thing, but then getting braids. A person that has their hair braided will generate more electricity and can receive more downloads than a person who doesn't, who has hair on their head, who has ether on their head, but they can't, but, the, but, it, but it isn't braided. Why? Because when it's in a braided format, it's making a coil. Okay? If you to understand the way coils work, you will have to understand the way electro, ele um, the way metal copper and these different properties work as conductors with electricity all right so this is why a person with their hair braided will generate more charge than a person who has locks i mean who has ether but it's not braided all right because when it's not it's not in a, it's not in a coil format so it's going to receive electricity but it's not as strong think about a magnifying glass as you know you know, it's, think about a magnifying glass. You know, it's just like if you take a magnifying glass and you and you focus it in on a certain part of the grass with the, while the sun is out, you can set the grass on fire because you're channeling all that photon energy through that glass on that one little part of grass. To set the, and that's a, you know, I know a lot, of, that's an old science experiment you used to do as a kid. Take a magnifying glass when it's sunny outside and put it over some grass, the grass is set on fire because when the circle of the magnifying glass is what? Grabbing that much of photon energy and channeling it specifically on that grass as opposed to when it's not a magnifying glass all that photon energy that the sun is emitting from its, from its chromosphere
from his chromo spear, from his chromo spear, all that photon energy that the sun is emitting from his chromo spear, the grass not receiving it to the point where it's gonna catch fire because it's spread out. But when you take a magnifying glass, you're 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 channeling that energy. All right, so it's, it's like that. So when you got braids, it's just like you you it's, your hair is braided a little more to channel that energy. All right, but remember it's just braided. So them braids can what? They can come down. So that's why a person with locks, with their hair actually locked, is the epitome of charging up electrical currents for the for the aura. Right? A person with their hair locked can master the elements on a level that a person without a lock never will. You know what I'm saying? A person with their hair locked can receive downloads that a person without a lock never will. This is just a fact. Why? Because let's go back to the coil. When it's locked, it, it now like just like a braid. When it's locked, it's, it form it becomes an antenna. But unlike a like a unlike a braid, it ain't it's not coming down. So the all the all the electricity that's being created from the chi, because you gotta remember first off, where what is this? This is ether. This is not hair. All right, human beings, the human being species has hair. All right, they have the same follicles the dogs have. That is hair, and there is no metaphysical properties to it. There's no, their hair doesn't connect them to etheric realms and the astral realms and other planets and stuff like that. Their hair doesn't do that. Their hair doesn't connect them to the entire planet. Their hair doesn't do that. They, they have hair. You have ether if you have carbon in your skin, all right? Because you are an ancient being. You are a god. So you, you the, what you grow out of your scalp, it, scalp isn't hair. Remember, like when Yakub, a.k.a. Satan, a.k.a. Zeus was creating the human being species, he only made them a replica of us. Okay, so by him making them a replica, he he gave them ether, but it couldn't be ether like ours. So it it's hair. You get it? It's just like a little wig of what we got. You know what I'm saying? That's what they got. Like a little replica toy version of what we got. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So now with us, what we grow out, we, we have souls, right? And your soul is real hot. It's hotter than the sun. As a matter of fact, the, your, the sun is nothing but a bunch of, but a combination of all our souls combined. Facts. The glow of the sun. Okay? So your your soul is, is burning hot. So it emits chi, energy, from its core. All right? Or ether. Because you are a non-ether being. So all that solar energy, which is what gives you a soul, comes from the solar system. Get it? You got a soul. That's because you are connected to the solar and you come from the solar system. Get it? You, like, you have a soul because you come from the solar system. All right? And your soul is so fucking warm, it generates all this heat. Matter of fact, your soul is what generates the body heat through you. You know how when you cold and when you could hug over somebody and all that body, that's come from your soul. That's coming from your chi. That's your soul, your life force. That's you. That's the real you. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's that can never die. All right. That's 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 forever. That's a and that's a cosmic entity. So it's connected to it's connected like just like a baby is connected to his mom through the through the through the through the through the, through the navel. We are connected with our home planet and our and our and the whole cosmos through the solar system because we are solar beings. We have souls because we are electrical beings. We are full of electricity and magnetism. You right? Because the soul is magnetism. The spirit is electricity. All right. These are the different. These are the name of the properties. All right. So. What you will come out of your scalp is something totally different because it's coming from the soul. So it's coming from the solar system. All right. So literally the energy from the solar system feeds through the celestial bodies. Eats all, it eats all through them fake clouds. You know, they got them fake clouds. We so strong, it eat all through that and it hit our soul and our soul emits this energy here. This is what keep us connected here, the soul, all right? So then the soul emits this energy and this frequency here. And then as it's emitting, it's pumping out this light, all this energy, all this life force to keep us connected here. Because remember, we are not, we are, that's what I'm talking about, we are multidimensional beings. You are only here because of your soul. That's why when your soul stay here, even every night, your soul stay here and your spirit travels, but your soul stay here. Your soul keep you connected here. And your soul, a piece of your soul is everywhere. So it, keep, it's, it keeps them bodies connected in them other realities too. All right, but this soul that you got, all right, this soul that you got, what it does is it emits all this ether and heat, and it's hot. It's hotter than, than, than anything you could think of. So 
what does he do? He rises. So that he that ether rises and they rise out your scalp. And it grow out the top of your head. It grow it grow through your face. It grow into your arms, your pubic hairs, on your arms, on your legs. You know, some people are heavier than others. It's because they 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 their ether is warmer. See what I'm saying? Their ether is warmer, so they grow more more hair. You know what I'm saying? Their ether is warmer, you know what I'm saying? Their ether is warmer, or, 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 or something. Not, it might not just be warmer sometimes. Sometimes it be just that it, it, that it, emit, it emits more of a higher frequency here, a higher, a higher, um, a higher, um, a higher radiant frequency here. All right. So you got to understand that that this is what's growing out the top of your head. It's ether. It's ether, and it's coming from a a celestial place and your soul is your navel it's like your it's like it's like your umbilical cord the same way a baby is attached to his mom's umbilical cord that's what connect them your soul is your umbilical cord that keeps you connected back home into your ancestors into the solar system that you come from to the cosmos that you come from because you're 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 an ancient being okay so as you emit all of this energy every single day, what happens? It comes out the scalp. Now, as this energy begins to come out the scalp, you've been lied. They couldn't stop. They couldn't lie. They listen. They couldn't. It was going to come out your scalp and you was going to be like, what the fuck is this? So they had to say, this is hair. It told you it was something. It's hair. It's all it is. Nothing else. It means nothing whole time this connects you to the cosmos and when you lock the hair making it stronger than when you braided the hair you you create more of an electrical coil which is then used to to be generated as a current so it's pushing currents where are your electrical currents coming from the sun and the solar system Cosmos. So remember, I told you that you receive downloads when you're in the sun every eight minutes. What do you think it go through? Yeah, it hit the pineal gland, but it's working through the ether. The ether. And not only is this ether used for communication to the cosmos, it helps you communicate here. Because this is all electricity. And remember, you are electricity. So the more hair you got, the more electricity you hold it. So as your hair continues with to do what you think is growing, that's just more and more ether. And when you don't cut it, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Especially when you are connected and tapped in and you know what it is. Now, if you don't know what it is, then you can't connect to it. So you just think you got a head full of hair. See what I'm saying? Because you are ignorant to what it really is and its benefits and its spiritual benefits and its metaphysical benefits. But this ether can get, listen, it's used to protect you as well. Especially when it's locked. This is the real history of locks because those locks can get so long and so, so strong They could be used the same way the Maroons would use them when they was at war with the British in Jamaica. Queen Nanny. You see? Because even before they invaded us, we used our locks to, 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 like literally, each lock was able to flow off pure electricity. If you if you was to let your hair grow all the way out, never cut it, meditate, tap into it, it'll be flowing with so much energy that they would seem to dance and move on their own. This is where my, the, the Medusa head full of snakes lie came from. Medusa ain't had no snakes in her head and Medusa is still alive. She is the queen of the Nomos. I mean Nomos. The Nagas. 
The Nomos is your dolphins and your whales and your mermaids and your mermaids. But the Nagas, they all live in the Sirius star system with us. The Nagas are your serpent people. Half God, half serpent body. They really exist. But they're on our side, though. They're in the Sirius star system with us. We Sirius X and the Sirius A, B, and C. But the whole effect of Medusa having a head full of snakes, y'all, in Greek mythology, that comes from her having them long locks that would move. Each one would move on its own. It is seemed to move on its own. Like the carpet, like Aladdin's carpet had his own mind. And it was, that's how all her locks were. They was, and they were so long. Like to the point where she would use them to grab people and snap their necks with her locks. Like whip them out and everything. Knock down, grab, like, like, like for a lot of y'all, have you ever seen, let me see something. Let me show y'all. Cause they showed in a lot of ancient karate movies, and I just want to let y'all know where they where they got it from and what they was where they get this whole idea from. All right, I want you to know the true history of locks. Let me see. Let me see, y'all, if, if this is a scene right here. show y'all i'm gonna pull it up see a lot of y'all don't know if y'all watch a lot of these old chinese movies fighting movies right but they always depicted them like using they had long hair and they would use their hair as a weapon and you might not never know where they got that from but they got that from us See if I can pull it up. Cause you know YouTube, you know how they be blocking people. People, somebody might share the movie, and then YouTube will block it. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to click on it. Like I see it, but then I let me click on it. Hold on. And a lot of them Chinese movies always showed you um, these these crazy fight scenes that they got from us. But yeah, they're not letting me click on it. All right, but basically, anciently, we always used our hair. To protect ourselves we would let our hair would, would, you normally got so way longer than people like grow their hair out nowadays like to the point where like like what do you think the legend of rapunzel comes from 
You know how they're like, Rapunzel, let your hair down, Rapunzel. Like, where do you think that come from? That's like that type alone, how we will, because, because once you start letting it get to that length, it starts to take on its own type of life form, life force, because you let that energy flow out so long that they, that, that it begins to take on its own life force and then it can be used as weaponry, right? This is what we was using, using the hair for, all right? And a great example of that was shown when when Brit when 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 the British came and they was taking over Jamaica. Okay? When they came to take over Jamaica and pushed all the the Jamaicans that were on that land at the time um into the, the mountains of Jamaica, a whole war broke out because okay, so a lot of the Jamaicans fled to the mountains, but then the Brit the Great Britons they was trying to go to the mountains and still capture them. So okay now now it's war, right? And they were using their hair then as weapons. Like, if y'all go back and read the articles, I mean, read the diaries, they speak about how it was these black men, these black women that were, like, could use their hair or snatch down cheap tree branches. Could you would use their locks as, like, swords. Like, they locks would, would, would be so sharp that when they whip their head and hit somebody with it, it could cut their neck off. Like, which is not believable because... Think about how hard hair gets and how strong it gets if it get mad and entangled enough. That's just like a water hose. If you turn the pressure up on the water hose high enough, you can take you can cut somebody's head off with that water with that water hose. Because it'll be coming out so sharp and so strong. Alright? So you can get your hair to that strength. You just ain't know that. Because they didn't want you to know that. Alright? This is also where the story of Samson and Delilah comes from, where Delilah kept asking Samson, 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 how are you so strong? How are you so strong in the Bible? And, and, and the whole time it was in, it was his hair. And then as soon as he got cut his hair, they, they captured him. But when he didn't have his hair, they couldn't do nothing with him, right? That's where all that come from. All right, but but Queen Nanny and what they did with the Maroons in Jamaica, you know, like I said, they were terrorizing them just using their locks. Just using the locks. That's not including other tactics that she would use. But they were using so many tactics with the locks that that's when these settlers started to call them dreadlocks. Because they dreaded seeing these locks. I mean, can you imagine a motherfucker snatching a whole tree branch down with their locks? Somebody using their locks to cut people's head off. Using their locks to wrap people up. Using their locks to... You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta understand. You, you're... you're you're so electrical that you can reach a level of, of complete control within yourself to where you can actually control each lock on you to that level. Like when your head get that long, like this how this how this how magical we are. And like I said, this is where the story of Medusa first came from. This is where they get the snakes and they moving and they all going there. That's because Medusa, her locks so were long and they would all go their own way. Even the Amazons had locks. All of your prophets had locks, even in their Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why. Right? This is why. Now, I told you, these locks are coils. So, what does that mean? If electricity is being generated through you all day, and you have coils, electrical coils in your head that can harness electricity and generate it as well, what do you think is happening when you go outside and step in the sun? All that sun you receive and you hold it in your locks. All that information you're holding in your locks. And not just from the sun, from everything around you. So that's why the longer your hair, your locks get, the more intuitive you get. If you're tapped in, the more receptive you get because you can feel everything around you. You can feel the vibration. These are antennas. All right? These are your antennas, right? But, like I say, let's, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. These locks come from that grow. This is solar DNA. I repeat, your locks is solar DNA, which DNA isn't real. So let's say solar DEA. So just like you have DNA, right? And how does the DNA for strand look? Let's pull it up so y'all can see it. Because I don't want to be trying to describe it. I just rather let y'all see it. Okay. Let's pull it up, y'all. We're going to iPhone it out because I'm on the iPad. Let me 
So look at that lock. Look at that. You see the formation that your DNA is formed in? The double strand helix? You see it? You see how, it, it, how they curl around each other? Guess what? Your hair follicles do, does the same thing. They are in the same structure, your hair follicles. When you put them under a microscope, they are in that same structure as the DNA strand. Why? Because your hair is ether. It's your cosmic DEA. Your hair is your cosmic DEA. So it comes from it comes from the cosmos through you, hits your soul, because it comes from the solar system, comes out and expands through your root, and it connects you back home. It keeps you connected back home. All right? This keeps you connected back home. So now that you had this connection, now it's just able to flow out. And all the messages and intent that's coming from the cosmos come through your head too when you let it flow out. When you let it flow out. Especially when you lock it and let it flow out. Specifically, because we're talking about locks. All right? We're talking about locks, right? And why they fear them. All right? And why they fear them. And why they never wanted us to have them again. All right? So, your hair, your locks is your cosmic DEA. So now, as it comes about of your scalp, it emits frequencies and messages. Some of your, your ether is also used to clean up the atmosphere, to clean up a lot of this toxin. But you don't know that because just like trees, you cutting them. Remember, they cut our trees down too. These are versions of trees. They want you to cut them. Because the longer you keep them, the thicker and stronger they get. And it's all that electricity coiled up in it in DEA, your cosmic DEA. Now, as it hangs out, what are you doing now? Just like a crystal would, because you are crystallized stardust. That's all you are is crystallized stardust. This body is, and you're not even to be. You're crystallized stardust in the, in the physical down here, right? Just like a crystal, well, what, what do crystals do? They emit elect in electricity specifically, because people say energy. Electricity, what type of energy? Let's say specific. Crystals emit electricity. What are your thoughts? Electricity. What are your words? Electricity. That's why crystals help your thoughts and words manifest. It's electricity times to put together. And when you put it in copper, copper is stronger than gold because so it gives off a pure, it gives off a stronger surcharge for electricity. It helps electricity. Um, um, it increases the 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 magnetic um, pull of the crystal or the electricity. The copper does. Copper does that. That's why copper is so good for us because we are electricity. Copper helps electricity flow. It strengthens it. It goes hand in hand with it. It's peanut butter and jelly. You see what I'm saying? It's peanut butter and jelly all day. Copper and electricity. You, you get what I'm saying? So that's why you'll see a crystals wrapped in copper, okay? But your cosmic DEA that comes out of you, all right, that comes out of your scalp also is used like the trees are used to clean up the atmosphere. That's why anciently we would let our lock get so long and so thick. They also talk to the elements. Your locks can give messages too because they are like crystals. Because you are crystallized, so you can emit energy. You can you can you can you can absorb electricity, or you can push out electricity. That's why certain crystals are used just for absorbing electricity to to pull out any negative energies. Certain crystals is just for that, like shungonite, and a lot of your black crystals are like malachite, right? Why? Why? Your locks does the same. Give off electrical signals, signals and they pull in. Now check this out. This is what's dangerous about having locks if you don't know this. Because let's say you're negative. What you think you're doing with your locks? Pull it, pushing out negative frequencies. And guess what? You tapped into the cosmos, but guess what? We ain't the only ones in the cosmos. Guess who else in the cosmos? Guess who else in the cosmos? Zeus is still out there too. He still has the sixth universe. He still has the planet Nern. They still emit frequencies him and these fallen angels. So if you're not tapped in and you do got locks, you're going to receive the wrong type of frequencies. 
And then if you're completely lost and you got locks, then you just receiving all type of frequencies. You're not able to control none because you just, you don't even know nothing about this. But you do got a lot. Like, so, these, your locks strengthens up your natural electrical abilities in you. This is, leads me back to Queen Nanny. She had locks. And all the maroons that was fighting had locks. And they never want to talk about her like that in the history books because of the way she was fucking them up. I'm going to let them tell you a little bit about how she was fucking them up. And then I'm going to get deeper on my own. But yeah, for you who didn't know, you never probably looked at that. But yes, look at DNA Helix Link. And that's the way your hair coils look in your hair. All right. You are the natural God. You are the natural goddess. You give, you created the sun. You give life to the sun. You created everything around you. You created the sky. You created planets, universes. All right? You require electricity. You, re you require electricity. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna pull it up for you. I'm gonna listen to, cause see, we gotta stop saying dreadlocks. A lot of people got dreadlocks. What? There's nothing dreadful about locks at all. You're calling them dreadlocks because that's what the that the the British called them because they feared those locks because they know the power that's in them. They saw the power in them. They saw the magical, what they would call supernatural things being done with locks they could not explain. So that's why they dreaded these locks. That's why I'm trying to get y'all to understand. These locks is way more. Than what your, your ether in your hair is way more than you can ever imagine, which is why they tricked us into cutting it. It is why they tricked our goddesses into wearing weaves. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You need this. this, is a, this you need this to cast your spells. You need this to talk to the elements. The animals won't even recognize you if you ain't got your ether on your head. You know? It's like a... It's like, you know... There's nothing you cannot do. Let me show y'all something. You are natural beings. All right. You are a nine eight to be in at that. Okay. So, what is 666 class? They want you to think it's the devil. No, 666, that's us. Six electrons, six neutrons, six protons. All right? And I said protons, not photons. Photons is what's in the sun. Photon energy, not protons. All right, photon energy, that's in the sun. All right, photon energy is in the sun. I'm talking protons, which is inside of you. All right, I showed you the coil of hair, the double helix, right? Now, within each helix, you have what? What is it shaped like? Let's look closer. That's how your hair look. Didn't I just show y'all that with the DEA strand? But notice that, what them look like? Six is your hair, your hair follicle is shaped like three upside down sixes. This is how fucking cold we are. We design the essence of us and we put it into everything because we are everything. All right. So your hair coil connects you back home to the home planet, to headquarters. A lot of you trying to meditate, a lot of you trying to lock it up, lock it up and see how much more you tap in. 
You don't want to lock it up, don't lock it up. But I'm telling you, if you want to tap in more, you need to lock it up. If you really want to tap, if you really want to ascend to that level, you see, everybody ain't, everybody ain't ready for that level. Everybody not ready for this type of talk right now. Everybody not ready to use their locks to open up portals around them. You know what I'm saying? They're not ready yet. You are nine ether being. You are the original. Your antennas to your consciousness. Let me show you these your hair follicles again. Pay close attention. Now, before I showed you that picture, I just showed you the, the, the double helix link. But I want to show you that picture next. Same thing. That's how your hair look. Your hair is three upside down sixes. Actually, four. Three, and then the one at the last one represents the connection. Because each follicle connects you to every planet. You can receive downloads not just from our home planet, Sirius X. Xylanthia, but from all other type of planets and other beings. Yes. That's why you have so much, so much ether that grows. That's why you got so many um, pores. Hair follicles, you want to call them. When you got ether, each one connects you. Mars, Venus, this dimension, that dimension. It's like connects you. And then you got hair that's growing on your head that don't even come all the way out like this. This is how deep you get. And that four way of like here you got you got um liquid solids gases plasma energy same thing the hair follicles you need your antennas to consciousness to be conscious period look at them hold on look look they want to be us so bad they want they want they wanna they wanna be us so bad they want them some locks too. Cause they know. Look at him. See? If you look up Dread Locks, that's what's gonna pop up first on Google. Get in tune with the goddess Queen Nanny, and I'm gonna make my own separate video on Queen Nanny just for YouTube myself. But I want y'all to check this one out because they gave a little drop about her. They lied about some shit, but they gave some drop about her. Hey, uh, you think they still better hear that on the TV? They should. They should. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put this up on the TV real quick, y'all, so y'all can see it. I don't wanna be showing it on no phone. But none of that reflections. None of that. None of that reflections. because of her and what the Maroons was doing. Know the true history of why they are locks, not dreadlocks. Locks, not dreadlocks, class. Let's go. 
So, another gangster. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's. Oh, and, and, and please note that she was a gangster. Let that be known. She was a gangster. Another gangster class. Another revolutionary. Queen Nanny, right? I'm going to pull her up so y'all can watch her. Let's listen. This is why they call them dreadlocks. Because they dreaded seeing their ass the maroons. Situated somewhere between mystic and martyr, rebel and myth, priestess and warrior, Queen Nanny of the Maroons occupies one of the few positions recognized as a Jamaican national hero. Queen Nanny, or Granny Nanny, as she was affectionately called, has largely been ignored by historians who have given more of their focus to male figures in Maroon history. Despite being mentioned only four times in written historical text, and usually in somewhat derogatory terms, Queen Nanny is held in the highest esteem among the Maroons. This is a Maroon way of feeling coconut in the jungle. Let's see it. The Maroons are descended from West African slaves brought to Jamaica by the Spanish. They escaped slavery and fled to the mountains to live off the land of the Taino Indians. But their numbers surged in 1655. When the British invaded Jamaica, the Spanish abandoned their plantations and more slaves escaped to join the Maroons in Jamaica's isolated central mountains. When the British tried to take control, the Maroons fought two guerrilla wars, eventually forcing the British to recognize their autonomy and establish their freedom in the late 1700s, more than 50 years before the British abolished the slave trade and over 200 years before Jamaica's independence. She was the spiritual, cultural, and military leader of the Windward Maroons. Queen Nanny's legacy lies in the...